Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install a complete street legal turn signals and light kit on your EasyGo TXT golf cart. And uh, this kit comes with the LED headlights we have here, as well as LED tail lights I've got back there. Um, it comes with a horn, it's got brake lights, it comes with the instructions and the cutouts for the body. Uh, it comes with a complete wiring harness and everything. <clears throat> now this kit came from 10 LOL a golf cart company that's making quality aftermarket parts. They sent me this kit to install my golf cart, so a big thank you to them. Um, let's get started. Okay, so I mentioned it comes with the cutouts. What I mean by that is it comes with these little pieces of paper that show you uh, the exact size to cut out the hole in your body for the headlights and the taillights. So I've got this ripped out here. I'm going to just line up where I want the headlight to be. And I'll stick a few pieces of the tape on it and then trace this cutout with a permanent marker. Then I'm going to pull it off, flip it over like this, and use the same one on the other side, just flipped over. So let me tape those and uh, mark it, and then we'll cut it out. Okay, I don't know if you're going to see, but I've got the headlights marked out. Um, what I'm going to do before I go ahead and cut them is just drill a couple holes right here in the corners. This is going to make it a lot easier. I'm just going to use a jigsaw to cut it out and that doesn't have a very small blade so i'm going to drill a couple holes right in the corners where it might be hard to turn okay now that we've got those corners drilled i'm going to go ahead and see if i can cut them out with this saw See if the lights fit. Yeah, that's a good fit. That fits just fine. Uh, the only thing I had to do was you might have noticed as I was cutting, I had this little plastic cover underneath here that they all have. I had to take an angle grinder and just kind of cut that out because the bulb of this headlight, the whole assembly actually was hitting that cover back there. So I just had to kind of notch that out so it would fit. And once I did that, the headlight fit right in. So I'll keep the video going while I cut out the other side so you can see what I'm talking about. You'll see here what I'm talking about. See how we're hitting up against that plastic shield? So I'm just going to go ahead and just cut the edge of it off just like this. Kind of, kind of round it out just kind of how we did the headlight. And then it'll fit right in. I have to cut it out just a little bit more right over here. Try that yeah that fits in just fine now okay let's go ahead and screw them they come with the plastic screws so all you'll need is a phillips head screwdriver or a drill and we'll just screw them right into the plastic body just gonna put that piece of tape on there temporarily to help me hold all this while i try to get the first screw in, and then i'll take it off
There we go. All right, now that we've got the front headlights screwed in, let's go cut out the back ones. Okay, just like the front, the back comes with the template that we're gonna tape up here to cut out. Um, we're gonna tape the whole thing up, then rip out this middle piece, because that's the size of the headlight. That's the piece we'll be cutting out. So I'll we'll mark it with a marker just like we did in the front. Then we'll take it off, try not to rip it because we're going to flip it over and use the same template on the other side. we've got both tail lights and both headlights in before we wire anything up i'm just going to go ahead and attach this brake lights pad um this pad right here has got a switch in it and this attaches to the brake pedal and when you push the brakes it pushes this little switch in here and that turns on the rear tail lights on an extra bright setting for brake lights which is another really good thing about this kit um all we do with this is we literally just take these little plastics these little tiny plastic screws it comes with and just screw it right to the pedal, the brake pedal, just like this. It's that easy. So we'll just take these wires and run them under this pedal. And by the time we get to doing the wiring and I run this harness through it all, it's gonna have an extra plug for this switch. Uh, let's take one of the zip ties they give us and zip ties this harness to this pedal so nothing gets caught. So now when we push the pedal, we'll have brake lights in the back. Okay, now that we've got that done, we're going to install the turn signal assembly. What I like about this kit is it just goes right here on the dash. Makes it really easy to reach the turn signals, headlights, horn, everything right there by the steering wheel. Let me show you how this attaches. So that is rounded. It just sits on the steering wheel column, like I showed you before. And it comes with these foam pads. And we're gonna stick these to the back side of these brackets that it comes with so that it doesn't twist. So we'll just take these sticky pads and just stick them just like that to the to these brackets then we'll put these on just like that let me take the camera over to the other side so you can see what i'm talking about and it comes with four pads and only two brackets so we're going to put the other two little foam pads on the back of the actual assembly itself. That way, once we tighten it, you can't slide it off because it's touching foam instead of just metal. All right, let's see if we can get it all lined up. All right, that's good and tight. Now it comes with this little plastic cover that just clips on right over here so it covers up all those screws and sticky pads and everything. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna drill a hole in the dash for this switch, which is for the hazard lights. So just find a place up front where it's gonna be the easiest to reach from the back. I'm just gonna put mine right here since it's missing this cover anyway. It's gonna be easy to get to. Okay, you can see I've drilled a hole there in the dash for the hazard light switch. But I'm just gonna leave it here 
not put it on yet because it's going to be hard to reach these terminals from the back side. I'll just leave it there and run the wires through this hole and then we'll settle in. All right, let's lay out the harness and see how we need to do that. This is the main harness that has all the plugs for the tail lights, the horn. It's got everything built into it, so we'll just wire this up to a battery and uh, plug everything in, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so if you can see here, this side goes to the back, the back of the cart, because this is for the battery, these two right here, the black and the red. And the big three pin connectors that are red and white, one goes to each tail light. So what I'm gonna do to get this all lined up, instead of trying to run it through the cart now, I'm just gonna set it on the floor and um, beside the cart and get everything lined up. And then I'll start zip tying it to, the, to underneath the cart and show you where everything goes. All right, I've kind of got it a little better lined up. So I'm gonna feed the battery connections up through the cart. And I'm not gonna connect these till the very end. That'll be the last step is to connect the battery. So I'll just leave these laying inside the cart like this. And I'm gonna take and plug in the uh, the tail lights and then we can see how much extra slack we have and where to zip tie it. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to keep the tail light wiring harness from rubbing the tire. I'm just gonna take my drill and drill two small holes in the plastic fender right here. Yeah, that'll keep it from rubbing anything. I'm gonna do another one down here and then I'll go do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now that we've got the tail lights all wired up, I'm just gonna to continue to pull this harness underneath the cart. Just loosely, not zip tying it to the bottom of the frame yet. And I'm just gonna to try to find places up front where I can pull this whole harness through so we can connect the front lights and the turn signals and everything. We go all the way underneath and come out the center of the bottom of the cart. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is come up here and attach the headlights just like we did in the back with the tail lights. The next thing I think we should do is try to find a place to attach this horn that comes with it. Um, these two spade connectors are going to connect to the black and the purple wires that are hanging underneath here that we just pulled up front. Um, so all we got to do is find a place for it to line up where the black and the purple ones will reach. I think I'm probably just going to use these little mounting plates it came with and bolt it somewhere up here on the frame where it won't get water. Um, I'll probably just find a place maybe right up here to bolt it to. So it'll be out of the way and the wires will still reach. Let's do that. I think I'm gonna put the horn right up here. If you look up in the golf cart, let me take the phone off the tripod. There's already a hole right here in the frame. So it'll focus. right there and that's gonna make it a lot easier not to have to drill another hole so I'll just use the little bracket that came with the horn and bolt it just like this with that hole and that way the purple and the black wires will still reach to it so let's do that That should do it. Now let's connect the purple and the black wires that are right here. 
Okay, the horn is attached. Let's connect all the turn signals and the brake lights next. If you look underneath the cart here, now you'll see these two wires that we pushed under the cart for the brake lights. On the harness up front here, we've got these connectors, these three. And we've got the red, the yellow, and the black. So for this kit, we're not gonna use the black one. That's, I guess, for other models, I don't know. But we're just gonna use the yellow and the red ones. And those are the two that connect with the two for the brake light switch that we put on the pedal a little while ago. Those just plug in like that. That's all you gotta do, get the brake lights working. Uh, of course, we're gonna come back after we finish and zip tie everything up like this, so nothing is, uh, no, none of the wires or connectors are under pressure. We'll zip tie all that when we're done. Okay, now this big nine pin connector here is for the turn signals. What we gotta do is figure out a way to get this harness down somehow through the dash so we can connect all that stuff. Let's see what we can come up with. I can't seem to find any way in the car where you can run these big connectors through to the front. They tell you that you're supposed to go under these cup holders here, but they don't have a hole nearly big enough for these connectors. So what I think I'm gonna have to do is just use the grinder again and, and make a hole for them really in the body. If you look over here, they've already got Right here, they've already got a small hole. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and slot that out bigger so I can fit the connectors through it because it's supposed to run down the steering column anyway and that way everything will fit right. Well, I didn't really like having to do that, but at least now they'll fit. I don't know what they intend for you to do when they give you these big connectors with no way to feed them through here. Hopefully I can get this all through here now. Yeah. I think it'll be fine like that. And they give us this the steering column cover right here to cover up all the wires. Yeah, that'll work just fine. Let's bring the camera back up to the front and finish wiring up all the rest of the lights. Here's kind of a side view of what we're doing. Here's the harness that we just cut a hole for to try to get that to feed through. And we've got this little light controller that just pins on to one of these connectors. And the other nine pin connector right here goes to this plug I showed you a minute ago. Okay. And the yellow and gray wires you see right here. We gotta feed those up to the front of the card again because those attach to the, uh, the hazard lights. And then we can install that switch again. After a little bit of messing with it down there, I was able to pull these wires the gray and the yellow ones through the hole that I made for the switch. Let's go ahead and attach those. So the gray wire goes on top. The yellow wire goes on bottom. And we'll use the little plastic nut that it came with to hold that switch down. Now I'm doing this in a gas golf cart, so I've only got one battery. So this is pretty straightforward. Uh, of course you can use these kits in electric carts as well. You just need a voltage reducer. Let's see how it works. Is it 
the LED headlights. Tail lights. Let's see, we've got turn signals now. Working in front and back. Hazards are working as well. The horn. Both turn signals and lights, like we already showed. Everything's working. We've got it all connected right. Now, there's still one more important step we can't forget. And that's we got to take all the extra slack from all these cables. And we need to make sure we zip tie all this good and strong up here. We zip tie all this stuff just out of the way. We can't have anything like this, obviously, hanging down as we drive. Let's go ahead and zip tie that, and then I think we're done. As you can see there, I just kind of found spots, unmoving spots, to zip tie all this extra slack and extra wire too, so nothing was hanging down low. And I think we're looking pretty good. I'm just going to put this cover back on the front. But uh, we've got the kit installed. It's a really nice kit for the price. Everything that you get included, you know, great, great lights and all LED. And uh, thanks again to 10 LOL for sponsoring this video. And making this happen if you want to check out their website in their kits their lights and all the other accessories they make i'll post a link down in the description where you can check that out and if this video was helpful please hit that like button and if you would consider subscribing that would really help me out a lot thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one